Hello Internet, we are back on Pokemon Showdown and uh, this week we're going to do some more standardish sort of games. Um, and when I say standardish, I mean of course that I am using a Zartu, so there you go. Uh, this is the team that I used in the Manchester Premier Challenge a couple of weekends ago. Um, it's a team that I got to the final with um, and basically it's the only team that I've managed to gather some championship points with this season, so uh, you know, that's a wonderful thought isn't it but uh, um, you know hopefully we'll uh, you know find some game where Zatu can actually do something so we're gonna jump into this um, and we get well this is basically um, what the final was of that Manchester Premier Challenge because uh, I was against Justin Miller he used exactly that team and I used this team uh, I wonder how this will play out um, I'm just gonna lead as I did against him I'm gonna go with Kangaskhan Talonflame no Zatu this game unfortunately Xerneas is a uh, definite, and I was always wondering if I would prefer Smurgle or Groudon here. I always took Smurgle, but yeah, we're going to go with Smurgle again. Can't go wrong with Smurgle. Oh, he actually leads double fire, so uh, this is uh, playing out much differently to um, the games with uh, the Miller. Hmm. Okay, so obviously Mega Revolve here. And I'm going to go for a power-up punch onto his Groudon and go a Tailwind. Unless, yeah, so he does he does quick guard. I was, you know, didn't want to sort of fall into that. And he would need to be, like, modest with a high roll here with Eruption to knock out my Kangaskhan. But he gets a critical hit. Oh, it's like, it's like Premier Challenges all over again, this, isn't it? <laughs> um, what a fantastic look I have. Um... Okay, so if Kangaskhan had survived, I would have been at plus two, obviously. And uh, okay, so he would have had quick guard. He has got brave bird as well. Um, my Kangaskhan would have outsped his Talonflame, flame. Could have potentially got a sucker punch. He would have probably gone for a tail win the next turn. So um, I wouldn't have bothered about that. I would have um, maybe targeted into the ground on the ground and could have protected there. So I don't know. Could have power up punched myself maybe. But unfortunately, um, that is the way of. Um, the Pokemon. And so we're just going to go for a Dark Void here. When in doubt, press Dark Void. And I'm actually going to put a Xerneas in. Because if he goes for his own Tailwind, which he probably will, and protect, yeah, then at least that's a guaranteed sleep turn on the Talonflame next turn. And um, Xerneas is faster than Groudon naturally, so I'm going to go for another Dark Void and Geomancy before. I could go for a Wide Guard here. You did see I had Wide Guard on on this set. Maybe I should have because then it would preserve Smurgle's Sash which is quite important but um, Groudon being asleep here and having this guaranteed sleep turn is quite big too. So my Tailwind is about to end. I'm gonna go for a Follow Me and a Dazzling Gleam just because my Xerneas isn't like max special attack and Moonblast doesn't actually one shot this Talonflame. But mm, I don't know Moonblast could be close on his Groudon. Mm, he has got Tailwind this turn as well, so a Flare Blitz will probably knock out my Xerneas from here. So... Hmm. Talonflame, how long have you been asleep? You had your guaranteed sleep turn, and that was the one turn you could have woke up just there. So there's a 50-50 chance that Talonflame wakes up here. How do I want to play this? Because I could just double protect here, but then I'm wasting sort of sleep turns. So I'm just going to go for a Follow Me Dazzling Gleam. If he knocks out my Smurgle, then I can bring in my own talent flame and play games from there. Okay, so he does wake up. And he flare blitzes into my Smurgle. I was tempted to protect the Xerneas and... Oh, actually, it does knock out the Groudon. I was tempted to protect the Xerneas and go for a Dark Void, because if he woke up and flare blitzed into my Xerneas like he did, then I would have put the talent flame back to sleep. So, seeing as we've had such a, um, a terrible, terrible turn one, this hasn't you know, end, ended too badly for me, because like Talonflame unfortunately hmm unfortunately isn't going to be doing too much damage intimidated, but okay, so a Dazzling Gleam will knock out the Salamence, and Moonblast will knock out the Xerneas from here, but Salamence is the only Pokemon he has got that can knock out my Xerneas from here uh, with a double edge so I've got to go for a Dazzling Gleam which leaves Xerneas probably about, um, probably about 20%. I think, um, 
I mean, will a Brave Bird and a Dazzling Gleam knock out the Xerneas from here? I suppose if it doesn't, then um, I've always got another Brave Bird, haven't I? So let's just go for it. He might protect the Salamence here, but he doesn't. Oh, and a critical hit sort of helps me out there, even so. But uh, I think I had the game one. So even after that, you know, <laughs> turn one critical hit, I managed to, uh, you know, play my way around this and... Uh, Get back into it, thank goodness. Thanks to the help of Smurgle, you um, evil devil dog. But um, let's, uh, you know, jump in, find another one. Let's see if we can get Zatu doing something in this next game. It would be nice, seeing as, uh, you know, I did the introducing Bronzong to VGC and introducing um, Gravity to VGC. Uh, those are pretty common now. Not saying that I was, like, you know, completely, um, you know, the... Uh, I mean, influence on the metagame there, but, uh, you know, unfortunately Archaeops isn't doing so well. <laughs> but, um, come on, Zartu, let's see if we can do something. In this game, though, it's not it's not really what Zartu is here for. We've got lots of green things, though. Two Grass Pokemon, Ditto, which I really don't like playing against. And uh, the pretty common now, Kyogre Rayquaza. I think I'm pretty safe going with Kangaskhan and Talonflame. I want Xerneas, definitely. But the question is, yes, we do want Groudon definitely in this game mm, okay so potential fake outs he could just go straight for a vault tackle onto my talent flame I'm going to go straight for the knockout though onto the right shoe so if he if he goes for the fake out on talent flame or goes for the vault tackle onto it then at least we're trading those and I'm going to go for a Tailwind as well, just in case, if he doesn't go for a Fake Out, if he does go straight for a Vault Tackle, at least I'm getting something from the Talonflame this turn. Oh, Charm. So, he knocks out my Talonflame. Um, the Raichu is probably still even going down here, but at minus two, I'm not liking this, because I need Kangaskhan at, um, you know, good strength to knock out his Kyogre, so my Groudon has a good time. Yeah. That's not good. He could... Depends how greedy he's going to be. He could charm my Kangaskhan again. He might want to just Tailwind himself. So I could bring Groudon in. Um, you know what? I'm going to bring Groudon in. And I am going to Geomancy here. And hopefully my battle plan comes into fruition. Okay, so he did... He did... Um, Put the Rayquaza in there, that's quite unfortunate. Um, oh, well, that's very fortunate. And I'm looking at this nickname of the Rayquaza. That is the Rayquaza that <laughs> double critical hit me in the Glasgow Regional. So uh, if that is you, Mr. Mac, then... Um... <laughs> Suck on that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, dear. Barry's being silly. Okay, so... Um, I mean, I'm still not in the, the, the greatest of positions. Um, his... I don't think his Rayquaza was Focus Sash, so I'm pretty safe to go for a Dazzling Gleam here, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring Kangaskhan in and go for a Dazzling Gleam. He might protect with his Rayquaza here, but if he does, then at least I'm getting some good, da yeah, some good damage onto it. Yeah, he does. Uh, onto the Kyogre, rather. And Raw, okay. Well, I didn't expect that. And because he Mega Evolved, he's actually brought my, um, you know, my Groudon Sun in now. So maybe he shouldn't have Mega Evolved there. Um, so, you know, some interesting interesting moves here. At least Kangaskhan has got, you know, his proper full health back. We haven't seen... Oh, we have seen his it. Whimsicon, isn't it? Hmm. So I want Xerneas around for the Rayquaza, because I don't think that is Focus Sash. I mean, again, I don't want to... I'm a little bit worried still. Is he going to bring Whimsicott in? Yeah, still got Tailwind up as well. I mean, if the Kyogre stays in, all it can really do is go for an Ice Beam. But an Ice Beam and a Dragon Ascent will knock out the Kangaskhan. Hmm. We're in an, in, in an interesting position here. Okay, so I'm going to go for a 
frustration onto the Kyogre and an eruption because if he knocks out the Kangaskhan I'm getting an eruption off and it breaks any definite sashes. If he brings a Whimsicott in then um, it's going down to its sash um, but also if he lets his Kyogre take this eruption then it puts it in range of Moonblast from my Xerneas. Oh it's my tail, isn't it? I'm silly. I'm a silly boy. That's how much I've obviously been paying attention to this game. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I was like, where did he get a tailwind up? Okay. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in a good position now. Like, he can extreme speed, of course. Uh, we did see it was Life Orb as well. Yeah, let's go for a, a Frustration onto the Whimsicott, and... I'm gonna go for a Rock Tomb here. I mean, he's either going to protect or extreme speed here. Yeah, I don't mind that too much. Women's got Sash is broken now as well. Kangaskhan. I mean, I can just do the exact same thing. Oop, not enough power. There we go. So, okay, so in this game I got lucky with the uh, origin pulses, but uh, I think, you know, either this person does like uh, Adam's uh, nicknames, or uh, it is Adam. You got a double protect there, don't think it really mattered. I can just go for a dazzling gleam. I can just go for a dazzling gleam eruption, really, but I, I just want to knock out on this. So, um, I'm not going to mess around with, like, Dragon Ascent critical hits. You know, weakening my eruption so far, but I don't know. It's it's not gonna not gonna wash, is it? No critical hits this time. Yeah, that doesn't matter so much because Whimsicott is not gonna beat Radon one on one. Okay, it doesn't matter. There's no way that would. <laughs> There's no way this Groudon is going to lose to the Pumpy God. Okay, so let's look for uh, you know one more game then, and let's see how that goes. Hopefully we can bring Zatu. Maybe maybe I'll make an extra special effort to bring Zatu actually. Um, so yeah, l let's go with Zatu and Xerneas just because we want to use Zatu, and I think in the back we would also like Kangaskhan. Is kind of nice here. So is Talonflame, actually. Groudon, I'm not too sure about. Uh, I brought Groudon in the last game against Rayquaza and Kyogre because he did have his uh, Ferrothorn, I think, and Whimsicott as well. And I didn't want to mess around with all these grass types. Groudon, I don't think, is so important in this, in this game. So I do want Kangaskhan. And I think we want Talonflame too. So Crowbat, Kangaskhan, okay. It's probably going to go for a fake out on the Xerneas and the Tailwind. So I'm just going to Tailwind myself and Protect here. Okay, so we just go straight for the, the damage onto the Xerneas, which is fair enough. Um, so this turn we can see you know, what my Zatu's moves are. Um, I'm going to go for an Ally Switch and a Geomancy here. And okay, so we Super Fangs into the Zatu. And my Xerneas is faster than this, than this Kangaskhan, so it is actually, yeah, nice one. Good old Zatu doing some business. So his uh, Kangaskhan is actually adamant. So I know that my Kangaskhan, my own Kangaskhan, will be faster than it, because mine is jolly. Do I want to bring Kangaskhan out, though, or do I want to bring Talon Flame out? Because, um, I mean, the worry, obviously, is that he's got Haze on his Crobat. Um, but at least we can kind of see what, you know, Zatu is supposed to do here. It's supposed to help with things like Gengar and Crobat, even though it doesn't do an amazing job against them, if you make the right moves in it, it can do, sort of. Um, and basically, because of the Zatu, we've got Tailwind and we've got Xerneas with its Geomancy up here. I haven't done any damage yet, but you know, hopefully that's going to come there. <laughs> but I'm going to put Kangaskhan out. And I'm not going to mess around, I'm going to Moonblast the Kangaskhan, and I'm going to power up punch the Crobat. Oh, he's got Protect! Please don't have Haze. He's got Haze. 
He's one of those. Okay, well, I'm not in the worst of positions. Um, although I am in... Well, that's... Oh, he's... So, um... Yeah, so at least we've got a plus to Kangaskhan, but, um... His Crobat is going to be faster than my Kangaskhan, and I can just... You know, he's just going to, uh... Haze it away. So... Yeah, I think... Well, he's got to haze. I know that he protected last turn, and I know that both my Pokémon are faster, so... Yeah, so his Kangaskhan is going down. Oh, Haze Crobat. That's one thing that I really don't like. Like, I wouldn't use Haze myself, I don't think. Just because it's like taking up one of your Pokémon's moves, like, to deal with just one specific Pokémon. I mean, I suppose it helps with the power-up punch there as well, but... Um, I'm not too keen. I mean, if I was going to use Haste, I, I probably would, like, have Draco Meteor or something on this Rayquaza. I would use, like, all these moves like Overheat and, you know, Dragon Ascent, I suppose, as well, that uh, lowers your own stats, too, so that you can haze away those. I think that would be quite quite a good, um, a good use for them. But I'm not in a brilliant position here, because he's just going to uh, protect his... his uh, Kyger and Tailwind here, and there's not really anything I can do to stop this this sweep. Really, because I didn't bring Groudon, but even if I did, he's probably got his Rayquaza in the back, so. Foiled by Haze. Unfortunately, there's no way Zatu can, can stop that. Yeah. So he won't Mega Evolve this turn, just in case I have got the Groudon in the back. Mm. I mean, there's no safe way of getting Talonflame in so that I can tailwind myself so let's hope we survive no we don't survive I mean if he hits his water spout then it's all over yeah really hmm special attack drop um, I mean by the looks of this this Rayquaza has got the focus sash as well so uh, focus sash Rayquaza generally does beat Xerneas so uh, unfortunately not really anything we can do here um, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's just going to... Uh... I don't know, I mean, if I had Brave Bird, the Kyogre... If it's a really frail Kyogre, maybe it can knock it out. But even still, Xerneas is going to lose to the Rayquaza. Yeah, unfortunately. You know, we'll try. He might just protect his Kyogre here as well, though. Nah, it doesn't, doesn't quite knock it out. Water Spout probably will still knock out the Talonflame here, even if he doesn't go for the Dragon Ascent. So, uh, you know, unfortunate. I think... Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we'll go for a double protect just in case he hasn't got Focus Sash and we can survive an extreme speed and Dazzling Gleam it or whatever, but no. Nah. So, uh, you know, I think if it wasn't for Haze, um, I probably would have won this game. So that's, you know, slightly annoying. This guy was, you know, vaguely high up on the ladder as well. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. But thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. And, um, you know, please feel free to uh, like and share and uh, get the, uh, you know, the channel out there a bit more, so thanks a lot guys, and goodbye for now.